Hey guys. So I have another big piece of news and um, it's just a result of the fact that this YouTube thing is taking a life form of its own and I am just gonna ride it and see where it takes us. Um, things keep happening organically and I'm just letting them happen. And none of this has really been premeditated. It's all been stuff that's just come along in the process of um, this YouTube uh, vlogging unfolding. So Maddie's a perfect example of that, going to the schools with her and having you know this companion program. If you haven't seen it yet, it's uh, Maddie's AT Adventure and my dog is gonna be joining me virtually on the trail and we're gonna teach kids about hiking in the Appalachian Trail. But there's another aspect that has just kind of appeared and I want to tell it in a cohesive way so that it makes good sense to you. So I am going to read it off of my computer screen so I won't always be looking at the camera here while I'm talking to you. Because I want to be able to really get this um, down in a way that makes sense. So here we go, my big reveal. I wasn't aware when I started this project that YouTube had a monetization program. When a channel gets a thousand viewers and over 4,000 hours of viewing time, they qualify to earn a percentage of the funds that their channel generates in advertising revenue. I anticipate that this channel will qualify for that program in March as I hit the trail. As a result, I have decided to donate any funds raised through this channel to a charitable cause. My husband Rob and I talked about it and we decided that whatever's generated, we will double in, or and no, we won't double it. We are gonna match it so that it will be doubled. It didn't take me long to decide exactly where I wanted that money to go. And I hope you'll be as excited about this program as I am, since it will be your viewing time that ultimately determines the amount of the donation at the end of my hike. One organization stands out as having made a huge difference in my life, not only once, but twice. It empowered me as a person and my abilities to be comfortable in the outdoors. I had never been on an overnight backpacking trip until the summer I left for college. My parents gave me a one month outward bound program as my high school graduation gift. Not only did I rock climb, hike and sail, I also learned how to live, work and function as part of a group during this experience. And of course, it pushed me to my limits and sometimes beyond and helped me grow personally, realizing I could overcome difficult situations. Then during college, I was failing out of school and I needed to take a break and assess what path I was going on. Would I continue college? or would I pursue something different altogether? Since my grades were terrible, but I did want to get credits for taking the time off, there was only one place in the 1980s that would take me. Again, it was Outward Bound. I spent the fall of my junior year on a semester long Outward Bound program. This time the challenges were harder, the limits that got pushed through were even more difficult, and the consequences of my decisions had more significant repercussions. I wasn't a teen anymore, I was on the cusp of adulthood. As part of the program, we hiked up Mount Katahdin, and we backpacked in Baxter State Park, and I was exposed to the Appalachian Trail for the very first time. Not only did this semester help clarify my desire to finish my bachelor's degree, it also made me assess why I was doing it poorly in college and what I was gonna need to do to change that, to make things better go moving on. As fate would have it, at that same moment, Outward Bound extended me a job offer. I declined and asked if they would let me take the job after college, and they assured me they would. When I did return to college, I kind of met the man of my dreams. We made the decision to give our relationship a go after graduation, but I never did take the job with Outward Bound. Instead, after a few years of, mar of work, I married Rob and became a stay-at-home mom to my two incredible daughters. Life has continued to unfold in many unexpected, amazing ways. There has always been a sense of gratitude I have had to the organization that gave me back my confidence in myself and allowed for clarity when I couldn't find it anywhere else. The principles I learned and the passion for the outdoors Outward Bound fostered in me have been cornerstones in my life. There is no comparison to the therapeutic benefits nature has had in my life. To this day, they have an amazing network of programs throughout the world, and one of their programs really stands out and resonates with me. They have a program for grieving teens and no one's turned away for financial constraints. The program is funded through scholarships and donations. The program is called the Maine Appalachian Backpacking Program for Grieving Teens. 
My amazing friend Eleanor, who was actually taking me on a six day road trip to the trailhead, directed an adolescent grief program for over 10 years. On our regular morning walks over the years, she's shared how deeply the teens she worked with have benefited from this very specific program. Not only does this donation pay homage to Outward Bound and its role in my life, but to several other people as well. My father, who died in 2003, was the director of a nonprofit for over 20 years. This donation will honor his fundraising legacy. My father was also a really incredible endurance athlete, not only competing in triathlons and marathons, but he rode his bike across country several times in retirement. In addition, my mother, who died in 2013, was part of the first class of hospice volunteers in the community where I grew up. She was a passionate advocate for the dying and the grieving loved ones for decades. The funds raised through this project will be donated to the Outward Bound Scholarship Program for Grieving Teens in honor of my late father and mother, Jack and Cecile Jennings. So please share, subscribe, and watch away as this reality show of epic proportion in my life gets underway and know that it will have an ama amazing impact on a really, really great cause. Thanks you guys. Take care.